Hey everyone, welcome to this training video about device collections in Microsoft Configuration Manager, formerly known as SECM. The device collections are essential for managing the deployments, configurations and compliance across your devices in your network. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Let's dive in. Well, in SECM, the device collections are nothing but the logical groups of endpoints like desktop, laptops or the servers and these collections let you target the software deployments, compliance baselines or the configuration settings, policies and group the devices instead of managing them individually. Device collections are ideal for the deployment of applications, packages, windows updates, targeting the operating system images during the task sequences, applying the security or antivirus policies, segmenting the devices by location, department or the operating systems. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create the device collections using the dynamic membership rules. To create the device collections, I will go to the assets and compliance workspace in Microsoft Configuration Manager and there under the overview blade, I have the option of device collections. Before I create a device collection, I show you some of the devices that have been discovered from my Active Directory database. Well, under the device collection, we have a default device collection called all systems where I can see overall 11 devices discovered. Now I can create the device collections based on my requirements like the based on operating system platform or any other criteria. For that I will provide the name to this device collection. This is based on the geographic location and the operating system. So for Toronto Windows 11 workstations I want to create a device collection. And uh, for this I can define the limiting collection. So this device collection will be targeted or will be limited to the target group which is let's say all systems in my case I will be going with to those 11 devices overall I have. Then here I have the option to add the membership rule how do I want to make the device member of this group either I can go with direct rule or query rule and then I have device categories or include exclude options. In direct rules, I can add the devices directly to this group, whereas in query rule, I can define the WMI query and based on that, I can make the devices member of this device collection group. This will be dynamic because as soon as the device attributes change, their memberships to the collection will also change. So this is Toronto Windows 11 workstation. Now I will go to edit query statement. In the edit query statement I will provide my WMI query whereas I can use the import query statement if I already have a query. The resource class I have selected is system resource I'm going with the default one which came up whereas if there is any uh, additional requirements like provisioning devices or unknown computer so you can choose the required resource class. Under the criteria, there is a new option available where from I will choose the criteria type as simple value. And uh, I have other options like based on the attribute reference, sub selected values or list of values I can go with. I will go with the simple value in this case and will define my where statement where and will select the query over here so this is the attribute class I want to use that is the system resource and the attribute I will provide here system OU name and the operator is equals to or I can use a different operator as per my requirement is less than not like or not equal to like so is equal to and I will provide the value of my OU so if the device is part of adatum.com Toronto clients OU it will become the member of this show query will show you that uh, what is the final query this is select star which means all the properties from the required class SMSR system and the system OU name is 
Toronto clients. I can use incremental updates. I can define the recurrence and the schedule to refresh this accordingly and then finally close this. If I refresh this page, I will see Toronto Windows 11 workstation device collection created. There is no device right now. I will refresh this and I can see that there are two devices which has become part of this device collection. These two devices will be the Toronto CL1 and CL2. I have the two client machines in that Toronto OU that I selected as the OU name in my criteria. As soon as more devices are moved to Toronto OU, uh, client OU, then those devices will reflect here. So this is how we create the device collections to target the deployments, deployments of the applications, packages, compliances or any other requirements. I hope this was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet.